Hello, I'm David Gerard, and welcome to Pivot to AI, coming to you every weekday. Today, you can scrape the web where OpenAI can't. OpenAI has finally released its web browser project, Atlas. It's Chrome with ChatGPT bolted on to be an agent for you. So what's it like to use? Anil Dash tried it out. He says it's the anti-web browser, the first web browser that actively fights against the web. He opened it, he typed Taylor Swift Showgirls into the search bar, and he got back a web page, one that the chatbot had written. Quote, I had typed Taylor Swift in a browser, and the response had literally zero links to Taylor Swift's actual website. If you stayed within what Atlas generated, you would have no way of knowing that Taylor Swift has a website at all. Unquote. So Atlas is like if all web pages were Google AI overview summaries. It's the future. Atlas doesn't just make up a web page itself before it'll give you an outside web page. Atlas is your agentic pal who's fun to be with. This is the hot new thing in web browsers. You get it to do stuff on the web for you. What a great idea. And uh, you just have to hope it won't be prompt injected by something it reads on a web page. Because remember, that's a thing that happens with all the agentic web browsers, because large language models cannot tell data from instructions. We talked in August about Perplexity's Comet web browser and how you could hack it if you sent it a web page with instructions in it. Letting a chatbot do things always ends up like this. If agentic browsers gain any popularity, they're going to be a security disaster. But there's one really obvious reason for OpenAI to release Atlas. It's so it can get past all the sites blocking its bots from scraping the sites for training. Nobody who runs a site wants to talk to the scrapers anymore. Everyone's running stuff like Anubis or Iocane to block pathological bots. The bots have gotten really feisty lately and they're getting past the blocking again and sites are getting flattened. If half your favourite sites don't work all of a sudden, that's why. And then there's all the paywall data and the personal data and the corporate data. Think if they could train on all that juicy stuff. OpenAI says, quote, if you choose to opt in this content, you can enable include web browsing in your data control settings. Unquote. At present, there's no quick way to block Atlas because its user agent is identical to whatever version of Chrome it's based on. That said, Gurgly Naji from Iocane is working on detecting Atlas. Quote, once I can confirm that the method works outside of the short experiment I was able to conduct, I'll make it public so other tools can follow along and send Atlas to the garbage bin where it belongs. It will not be able to run rampant for long. Unquote. Thanks for tuning in to Pivot to AI. If you liked this episode, please use it to warn others off the Atlas browser. Hit like and subscribe on YouTube. Leave a nice podcast review, and you can support Pivot to AI by sending just $5 to the Patreon linked in the show notes below. Or if we're on YouTube, hit the join button just below the video. Thank you all. See you Monday, and bye for now.